Wait, we've lost Bri now? I know. Uh, Adrian, we didn't lose Bri. Hmm? She went to some after party at Dylan's house. She seems super into it, so I told her to go. Hey, it's not a big deal, right? I mean, our good friend and fellow agent was attacked tonight. Actually, I wasn't attacked. But having fun is clearly more of a priority to Bri Bri than secret agent work. Whatever. Am I right? Sure. See? We're at his reign, Cameron. Did she just say Bri Bri? Let it go go. Michaela, what happened tonight? Zero number one, the guy with that no regrets tattoo was tailing me. Who is that dude? And why is he always around when something bad happens? I don't know. I didn't get the chance to find out before the second Zoro appeared. Dad. How do you know Zoro number two is dad? Dad's calling card. Over the years, dad's left me these origami. You're just telling me this now? I never said anything because the origami are kind of our thing. Just dad and me are the only real pieces of him I've ever had. But I threw them all away. Hmm. Oh, really, Chica? What about the one you received when you got your driver's license? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Fine, here's the truth. Maybe by threw them all away, I meant carefully save them all. May I? These look like they're from the same piece of paper. She's right. This definitely is not just random paper. Wait, no, don't unfold them. M. There's writing on the back. See, this one too. It's like a puzzle. There's a watermark. It's the official seal of Maywood Glen University. Looks like some kind of scientific report. Not just any report. It's a results page from a Maywood Glen University study conducted by one Professor Max McAllister. This is Dad's work on stone water. All this time, he's been leaving me clues. Clues that would lead me to the truth. Michaela, can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bride and Bandwidth, and they've created... Created Maywood Glen's very own vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over Stone Acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized controlled drip irrigation system, I mean sick like amazing, not sick like bleh, <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80 percent. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. Okay, uh, thanks guys. Um... Amazing, right? Okay, now you have to try this. Good job, girls. <laughs> um, and this is Adrian Adams and Cameron Coyle, and they created Cycle Sickle. Using pedal, power, the ice, and salt, churn at a higher rate. Creating a culinary explosion of flavored helado, ice cream. Using zero energy from the grid. Try my culinary white chocolate with ancho chili pepper. Like me, fabulous with a bit of a kick. Wow, so inventive. Don't look at me. The students of Maywood Glen deserve all the credit. Michaela in particular, she is a wonderful role model for all young women, including my daughter. <laughs> 
Hey, sweetie. Mr. Stone? Right in bandwidth? I remember. Drip is the new cool. And you would catch on. Hashtag trendsetter. I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan of Stone Television Network. I watch it all the time. And it actually inspired me to make my own web series. It's called Bryant's. You know, Brad and Science. Bryant's. Get it? I do. I'll have to check it out sometime. Really? Send me the link. I want to see it. Michaela, I just want to thank you again for spearheading the new engineers program, especially considering my history with your father. I was glad to help, and it's okay. My father hasn't been a part of my life for a long time. Well, as a way of saying thank you, my wife and I would like to invite all the volunteers from Maywood Glen Academy to our home for dinner one night. That'd be great. I'm sure Brian will be there. <laughs> Isn't this refreshing? Nobody sneaking glances down to their screens. Everybody ready to learn? Uh. Now, you will have to write down your answers to today's quiz on a piece of paper with a pencil. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end? Yes, Justin. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end. Kyle. Look, I'm really sorry about before. I just have some things on my mind. It's fine. No big deal. You ever hear the one about the geometry class that was always tired? They were out of shape. <laughs> she could shape and geometry. <sighs> Commence bugging. Where's that coming from? Class, I think we have a visitor. It's my portable long-range acoustic device. I modified the extra ultrasound sensors for my dad's remote control model rocket. Here? It's for Helix the cat's birthday. Gotcha. You made your sister's cat a birthday present? And if you spoil the surprise for him, I'll be way crazy. Uh, you know, I think it's coming from over there. Hmm? Uh, nope, it's definitely coming from over there. Everyone just focus on your work. Let's see what you're hiding in your man purse, Gruber. Uh, gotcha. What a Tuna with the crust cut off. Happy teaching. Love, mom. <laughs> My hand's curping up. Screen. We're back on the grid. Greetings, Maywood Glenians. How you suffer without your precious technology. No texts, no phone calls, no games. Well, cry me a river. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still ever resting in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it AG's pink drink. Safety first. Careful. I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough and a glass of milk. Pass. I just whitened my teeth. 
a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies. When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. 1.5 million dollars, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But the Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Trillionaire Prince, is another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's our chance. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see your petite little feet there. We haven't met. I'm Adrian Adams. Adrian, wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, Okay. Project MC Square. 